Hey, it's Clay Trader, and this will be a video chart on ticker symbol SPCL. We will take a look at the 30 minute time frame. Real quick, what do I mean by 30 minute in case maybe you're new to charts? Instead of each one of these candlesticks here representing one day's worth of price action, which is what you would normally see, each one represents 30 minutes. So while this here may look like several days worth of time, it's actually just today's price action broken down into 30 minute time slices. I like you this time frame, I think that's a good job of telling the quote unquote story of the price. And in this case, makes mapping out a very logical question quite straightforward. And that question revolves around the fact that today was a very, very nice move. I can't imagine anybody arguing that, you know, where it closed here relative to, you know, where it all started before the day, you know, began. That, yeah, this was without question a very, very nice move. But that does lead to the logical and valid question. But is there any sort of true power behind this price movement? Is there any sort of genuine strength? Or is this just some sort of knee jerk reaction, dead cat bounce? I have no idea. But like I said, by using charts, we can make answering that question very straightforward. And in my mind, it all revolves around a single point. And that point is down here at, what is that? 0038. Why is 0038 so important? Well, hopefully we can all agree on the logic that price movements with genuine power, with true strength, the price is gonna progress forward. The price is not gonna go back to where it was. I'm assuming you're saying, hey, thanks, Captain Obvious. Of course, if a price movement is truly strong, it's not gonna go back to where it was. So with that in mind, think about 0038. Any sort of closes below it, or worse yet, if the price separates to the downside, what would that be doing to the price? That would literally be putting the price right back inside of this range that it just broke out from. Again, going back, not a sign of true strength. Whereas let's say the price pulls back here, not saying it will, but let's just say it pulls back here, bounces around, and then heads back up. What would you have in this situation? Well, you'd have a set of lows right here. You'd have this set of lows down there. You picture each one of those as stair steps, and hey, now you have stair steps making progress in the upwards direction, and that's the name of the game. That's what a truly strong move is gonna do. It's gonna make progress as time goes by, and in this case, I'm just defining and quantifying the statement, make progress as 0038. Now, what about areas of resistance? Right now, as it stands, and I'm just gonna you know briefly talk about this, and I'll explain that in a second. Key level of resistance up there at 0044, and the reason I'm just gonna briefly talk about that is in my opinion, at least breaking levels of resistance, not really the top priority right now. Top priority is just go through a healthy consolidation, build a higher base, because as long as there's higher bases being built over time, then the long-term chart will take care of itself. One of the biggest questions that I get is, hey Clay, how do you find the stocks that you trade? So what I've done is put together a free resource guide where I talk about the tools that I use to locate stocks that I find interesting and think may have potential. So if that sounds like something that could add value to you as a trader, then click on the image that is up on the screen right now and I will email you the guide. The guide itself is very short and to the point and best part, it's completely free. Thanks for watching the video. Let me know if you have any questions.